Hi everyone. If we haven't met yet, I'm Christy at Meeting Wellness and I have been a carnivore since June of 2023. It is currently the end of March 2024. And two months ago, I can't believe it's been two months, uh, February, my son actually joined me on this way of eating with the intention of seeing if it would help with his ADHD symptoms. Now, if you have not watched any of my previous videos about this, I encourage you to do that so you can kind of see. I, I did a couple updates on, you know, the first week, the second week, and then we actually did a live stream together where he came on and talked about his experience when he was, you know, three to four weeks in. But based on those videos, I've actually had multiple requests um, to update you guys on how he is doing. And so I thought the two month mark would be a great time to do that. So to review <laughs> very quickly, for those of you unfamiliar with his story, he was diagnosed with ADHD early in his elementary years. Um, he has other issues as well, sensory integration processing and things like that. Again, you can go back and find those earlier videos. I will, you know, link them below so that you guys um, can go in there and watch them if you haven't seen them, where I go into that more in detail. But needless to say, he has struggled throughout his life because of these issues, both personally at home and at school. And we have tried multiple interventions to try and help him. Everything from plans at the school to uh, paid out of our own pocket occupational therapy to even medication. And we have found generally uh, that most of those things have been very unsuccessful. So he's been very... Um, at home, pretty much late everywhere we go, um, argumentative, um, not wanting to or not being able to, not sure which, maybe a little bit of both, uh, complying with any kind of directions um, and becoming emotionally upset, angry when as the parent you try to guide him um, into you know, following those directions, whether it be something as simple as brushing teeth uh, to getting ready for bed, to getting ready for school. I mean, you name it. Daily life requests are not just daily life requests or in the past have not been. Um, additionally, although everything, you know, he was academically fully assessed, um, and has above average intelligence. However, his performance in school has been lacking. And so since myself finding the proper human diet, like I said, I've been carnivore since June of 2023. And I was actually keto from February to June. So it's been a little over a year for me. And I know that a high fat version of this type of diet um, can be great for mental health. And so I asked if he would be willing to try it for 30 days. And uh, then I crossed my fingers, crossed my toes, and waited to hear what he would say. And he said that the hardest thing to give up would be the ice cream, his ice cream, um, but that he would, you know, be willing to try if we could work something out in that department. And so he, basically we came up with, you know, a version of the proper human diet that he could do that is more keto, keto to maybe ketovore. It is definitely very meat based. Um, it is high fat and we have not taken out the dairy. Just to be clear, he is 15 and he really enjoys his dairy like most of us do. Um, he does not have a weight problem and... At this point, we are not taking it out. Now, I have made a couple subtle suggestions about the dairy, maybe starting to reduce that um, just because of acne and some things like that. Um, but if he never feels comfortable doing that, I am 100% okay with that um, currently. 
So on February 1st, or right around February 1st, beginning of February, um, he, he started eating this way. And he flew through the 30 days with flying colors and only one small oops. And that was when his teacher gave him a sucker or a lollipop for answering a question correctly. And he popped it in his mouth and then went, oh, shoot, I'm not supposed to have this. And then threw it away. Like he didn't even finish it. He threw it away. Other than that, he's been eating a lot of meat. Uh, he likes picanha. I think chuck roast is one of his very favorites. He's eaten some chicken um, and things like that. And then the carnivore pizza. So, you know, he does eat whole meats, like I said, like the chuck roast or the picanha, the chicken thighs. Um, and then we've also done a few substitute recipes for him. So like the carnivore pizza and things of that nature um, that he enjoys. In addition, some Greek um, whole fat Greek yogurt and whole milk. And we found a couple of keto dessert recipes. So he'll generally eat like one cookie, um, keto cookie a day made with the prime, equip prime protein powder, which is beef isolate protein and a few other things. Um, again, I did a recipe for that. So I'll try to remember <laughs> to link that below. So his two month update, how is he doing? So I will tell you that at home, at home, anything to do with at home, night and day difference. And I do mean in a positive direction. So after the 30 days, he did not want to stop eating this way. He's continuing on and he is taking on things on his own that he never would have taken on before. I talked to you guys in a previous video about the initial room cleaning that he did. And he is currently, it is, we're on spring break now, and he's currently working on his closet. So he has pulled the things out of his closet and now he's organizing that. And when I tell you everything in that closet, it was like full up to the level of the clothes, just in a giant pile. It no longer looks that way. So he has gotten rid of a lot of stuff and he's in the process of organizing that. I did not ask him to do any of that. None of it. Um, he's also, I've seen him doing things like tech support for his friends. So he's really good with technology. I've seen him in there. Like, I don't even know you guys, I'm not a tech person. He's got stuff open and he's like walking them through like how to, um, you know, do stuff on the tech, like download certain things or do things or get certain video games from their console to their computer. I don't know, stuff like that. Um, I've noticed that he's more interested in some like social things. So he actually got invited to a friend's house, which may seem minor, but that generally doesn't happen. Or maybe it happens and he doesn't bring it up to me, but he asked if he could go and he did go and he brought his own food, you guys. So not knowing what food was going to be served or would be available, um, we agreed and, and, I just asked him if he wanted to bring food and he said, yeah, like what I bring to school lunch, you know? So I packed that for him. Um, it's a, a Teton sausage, like a uncured Polish, a sausage that they're really good. And, um, some little cheese cubes and some pepperoni slices. He brought those over there. You guys, the other kids, I asked him later, he said there were like four or five other kids over there. They had pizza. He just ate his stuff that he brought. He did not eat any of the pizza. And he felt fine about it. I mean, amazing, right? Um, another thing is the other day, my son, my older son, my 18 year old, went and picked him up from school. And I was warming up some leftover picanha um, for the child I'm currently talking about, my 15 year old, Zach. And unbeknownst to Zach, my older son decided he was just going to run through McDonald's. So I asked, well, did you have anything? And he said, no, my older son confirmed it. So he didn't sneak any French fries. He didn't, you know, just have a bite of something. He didn't ask for anything um, from my older son. Like he didn't ask my older son to purchase him anything. Um, he just came home and ate the picanha. So I feel like not only has this been very beneficial for him, but he's all, he's making good choices and it doesn't seem to be super difficult. Like now that he's kind of rolled into this way of eating, he just does it without a complaint. We just, if he's going somewhere, he just adjusts and brings food with them. Super easy. The other thing is he's able to get ready for school on time. 
And uh, there were a couple of days where it had kind of crept. He was a little bit later. And I just said, Hey, I really need you to be, you know, in the car at this time. And the next, for the next couple of days until spring break, um, it was actually the week before that. Um, and he, he just did it. And that's unheard of. Usually I would ask him to be on time. He would not be on time. He would be extremely late. And then he would be angry at me for whatever. He would blame me, right? For the, the, the you know, I made him late by asking him to be on time, by giving him reminders to be on time, you know. And heaven forbid, if I got frustrated that he was late, uh, yeah, then he would get mad. And then we would have a big blow up, right? And, um, you know, I'm also trying to get to work. So it's, I'm not a stay at home mom, or if he's late, it's just a tardy at school, which is obviously we don't want to be tardy to school, but like I'm a teacher, right? I have to get to work. And so it affects me. It affects my job and the way that I keep this roof over our heads. Right. Um, and so we would have a rough morning, probably 90 to 95% of the mornings were very rough, would start off with some kind of Either, uh, either there was no argument, but I was extremely frustrated or if I expressed my frustration, he would get angry and then there'd be an argument, um, which actually wouldn't help anything. Right. Um, and there was never any apology. There was never any, you know, change on his part. Um, he would just blame everyone except for himself, you know, for not getting ready on time, even though we had you know, set timers, given reminders, made sure he was awake in plenty of time, you know, gotten him breakfast, like done all the things to help. Um, he was just, has always been unable to be successful getting ready in the morning and doing that in a, you know, happy, uh, normal type of fashion. Uh, yeah, that has all stopped. Like he just gets in the car, he's ready on time. There was the day after I asked him, he poked his head around into the kitchen to let me know that he was ready. That was a first. Um, he's never done that. It's always, okay, come on, time to go. I'll be waiting in the car and then he'll come out. Uh, he was ready to go and he poked his head around to let me know that he was ready. Like, whew, blew my mind. Um, is this helping with schoolwork? Not yet. <laughs> his grades are currently very poor. Um, we are, I don't know halfway, a little more than halfway, right around halfway um, through the semester. So I am hoping that during this spring break that we're on, you know, he tells me that he has work to do here at home, that he's going to be making it up. We'll see what he chooses to do. Um, we've talked about it numerous times. The counselor has called me from school. We're going to be having a meeting the Wednesday after spring break with his teachers and the counselor and myself and him. Um, but up to now, I have not seen much improvement, no matter how much we talk about it. Um, the only improvement is he doesn't get angry about it. Like he used to get angry and frustrated, but he doesn't actually get it done either. Um, and it's not just, it's not just that he has a low grade. Like he's, he's failing several classes right now. And if he fails, it's, he's in high school, you know, he's going to have to retake them. So I'm concerned about that, right? I'm not the mom that says you will always have A's and B's or you will be in trouble. I grew up in a house like that. Um, but on the flip side, A's and B's were easy for me to get. So it wasn't like traumatic or anything, but my parents knew that we could do it and expected it. I know that, um, that he has issues and, uh, you know, I just would like him to pass the class with a C or better. Um, obviously failing is not really an option unless he's not planning on getting a diploma. So that's where we are. That is the, uh, two month update. He is still going strong on this way of eating. He is still enjoying the food. I just made, um, some chicken tenders, uh, for the first time, a new recipe. Um, and he enjoyed those. So we're still branching out with new foods. Um, and it, you know, I'm so, so happy with the changes that I've seen. I didn't even see this many positive changes. I've basically seen no positive changes, honestly, no change. 
with any of the other interventions that we've tried for this. And um, I almost forgot to mention he earned um, freshman of the month at school. So I don't think that that was based on grades. I'm thinking an attitude adjustment may have been the reason um, just because I've seen a serious, serious attitude improvement and adjustment. So with that, I am going to go and meet some wellness. One extremely improved kid with some ADHD at a time.